key is for pterodactyl, the worst alphabet book ever. All the letters that misbehave and make words nearly impossible to pronounce. All right, bear with me. This one's going to be a tough one. G is for gnat. K is for night. P is for pterodactyl. What's going on here? Did you know that there are some really wacky words that start with a silent letter? Most of the time, you can just ignore that pesky first letter and sound out the rest of the word. But be careful. There are other words in this book that don't follow the rules. Look to the back of the book for help with some of the most mischievous words. A is for aisle. The bread aisle has not been clean in eons and nine tiny beasts meet to have a feast. B is for delium. We doubt anyone knows what delium is, but the only word dumb enough to begin with a silent B. C is for czar. Shh, the fascinating czar is secretly part Czech. D is for Djibouti. The boat race begins when the handsome judge from Djibouti drops his handkerchief from the bridge. E is for you. Eileen the you was so euphoric that the wolves were eaten. She even gave the eulogy. F is not for photo, phlegm, phooey, or phone. F is only for photo when you speak fluent Spanish at home. G is for gnocchi. The gnome yells, waiter, there's a bright white gnat nibbling on my gnocchi. H is for air. The honest air admits that herbalism isn't his cup of tea. I is not for I. We asked the pirate if he has two eyes and he said, I, I. J is for, and I have to look this one up. This is a game that they play. J is for highly. Juanita and Bjorn happily played highly before eating fajitas in Juarez. K is for knight. The noble knight's knife nicked the knave's knee. L is not for L. An elephant named L rode on the L train halfway to El Paso and dined on hearts of palm with her folks. M is for mnemonic, but now Mr. M can't remember why. A mnemonic is a, is a way to remember something. And so these are the Great Lakes, Lake Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, and Superior it, the mnemonic is homes for it. So that's what a mnemonic is. N is not for not. N is for naughty children who will sing a solemn hymn when autumn comes to an end. O is for Ouija. The French leopard says, we, we love to play Ouija uh, with the wee witch from Oh, I gotta look this one up too. Um, from Oaxaca. P is for pterodactyl. Oh my goodness. Tommy, I think. Oh, Telemi, the psychic pterodactyl struggles with psoriasis. Q 
is for quinoa. We enjoy quinoa and quiche by the key of Qatar. R is not for R. In England, the queen proclaims, we aren't saying the R's in butterfly, shark, or lizard. S is for seas. CC swam through the debris in the seas to see the imaginary isle of New Arkansas. T is for tsunami. The charging tsunami washed away all of Tchaikovsky's tchotchkes. U is not for you. You never could have guessed that the wolf was disguised as the U. V is for five. It's the Roman numeral five. How romantic. W is for wren. The wren wrapped the rabbit's gift in red but forgot to write a note. X is for xylophone. Xavier's extra arm made him an exceptional xylophone player. Y is not for Y, but but ye. I don't even know how to say that name. Let me make sure that I've got it. But Yves, who's wearing yellow shorts, yells, why is the Eiffel Tower upside down? All right, and the last one, Z is for Zhivago. Good night, Zhivago, the zebra. I've enjoyed our rendezvous. Wow, this is pretty crazy. Isle is a passage where people walk in grocery stores. Autumn is a season after summer before winter. Eon is a very long period of time. Delium is a good smelling sticky resin made by a specific species of tree. Czar is the title of a Russian ruler before 1917. Czech is a person born or living in the Czech Republic. Debris is broken pieces that are left of something after it's been destroyed. Djibouti is a mostly desert country. The L train is railways above the street. El Paso is a place in Texas. U is a female sheep. Euphoric is a feeling of happiness. Eulogy is a speech given at a funeral. Exceptional is much better than average or really good. Photo in Spanish means actually a picture. Gnocchi is a delicious ball of dough that's boiled in water with dumplings. Gnome is a make-believe creature that looks like a little man. Heir is a person who's next in line to inherit something. Herbalism is the study of how plants can be turned into medicine. Hymn is a religious song. Isle is a short word for an island. Highly is a sport that started in Spain. Knight is a soldier from the Middle Ages. A knave is a dishonest person. A knot is when you tie something. A mnemonic is a handy way of remembering something hard by concentrating to, uh, by connecting it to something easy. Uh, Oaxaca is a beautiful place in the southern part of Mexico. We oui is the French word for yes. Ouija is a game that people play on Halloween. Phlegm is the mucus when you cough up something. <laughs> Fooey is an exclamation or an interjection. Pterodactyl is a huge flying dinosaur. Um, uh, uh, Ptolemy is a name that was popular in ancient Greek, Greek times. Psychic is somebody with a mysterious mental powers. Psoriasis is a skin disease. Quinoa is a, a pseudo grain that we eat. Quiche is a yummy pie made of eggs and veggies. Uh, a key is a place where ships load and unload passengers. Uh, Qatar is a place in the Middle East. A rendezvous is when people have a secret meeting. Uh, solemn is very serious or formal. Tsunami is a very large wave in the ocean. Tchaikovsky is the last name of a famous musician. Tchotchkes is a Yiddish word meaning ex inexpensive souvenirs or trinkets. A wren is a bird. A xylophone is a musical instrument. And Zhivago is a Russian name that means life.
I hope you liked this silly alphabet book. P is for Pterodactyl, the worst alphabet book ever. So I hope you liked it and I can't wait to read again to you another time. Bye.